hey hi guys welcome to my channel so in my last video i have covered what is the etl testing what is the data warehouse and what is data warehouse architecture so in this video we'll try to cover the what are the different etl tool used what are the fact what are dimensions different type of facts and different type of dimensions so I'll cover it one by one. So how many, like currently we have these many tools used for the ETL. So there is a Informatica, there is the data stage, is from the IBM. Then we have the SSIS, uh, is the SQL Server Integration Services, is from the Microsoft. Then we have SAP BODS, then we have Avinitio, and then we have Azure Data Factory from the Microsoft. So these are the widely used ETL tools for the data warehousing, which do the extract, transform, and load. So coming up to the main topic for this video, which is fact and dimensions. So what exactly is the fact? A fact is, you can say that it's a quantitative piece of information such as sales or cost of goods or profit. A fact table or the fact entity is a table or entirely in a star or snowflake schema that stores the measurable informations for the business. A fact are stores in a fact tables and have foreign key relationship with several dimension tables. And what is the dimension? So dimension table that stores the descriptive information about the numeric values which are stored in a fact table. For the given the same example, a dimension table for the marketing analysis applications might include time period, marketing region, or the product type. So I'll give you just basic example so that you can understand what exactly the fact and dimension. So I'll give you the lame in layman terms. I can say that okay, whenever I say that. 7 kg does it mean anything to you what 7 kg but what exactly 7 kg 7 kg doesn't being a real right so when i say that 7 kg sugar or 7 kg rice so that 7 kg have some descriptive information about it that is a 7 kg of sugar or 7 kg of rice so in this example that 7 kg is a your fact or like the descriptive information how much how many kg or like how much that quantity it's a 7 that's a fact and what gives you the descriptive information about it it's a sugar or it's a rice so this is in the layman term i can give you the examples but in technical terms you can say that it's a quantitative piece of information fact table and dimension dimension stores the descriptive information related to that fact table so we have different types of fact tables here so you can say that firstly is the non-addictive what is the non-addictive fact table so non-addictive fact tables are the fact tables that cannot that cannot be summed up for any of the dimension present in the fact table so what is the example of it suppose you have a student table in which each student they get like multiple percentage right they can have 40 percentage 50 percentage 60 percentage 70 percentage 90 percentage you cannot sum up all these things and show the good example of it so that kind of data is called as non-addictive factable then we have the semi-addictive fact tables so semi-addictive fact tables then can be summed up for some of the dimension but not for all the others so what's the good example for this is the current and saving account so you know that saving account can have like husband and wife they both can have the saving accounts so you cannot sum up for both of them right because they might have done the different transaction on their respective cards but if you want to know the information related to only the first of the like only husband or only of the wife then you can get some informations so it's like semi addictive facts and what is the addictive fact then addictive facts are the facts that can be summed up through all the dimension in the fact table so you can say the sales data whenever you say they have the sales data you know you'll go you buy a car so that customer 
will have all the details related to that customers in sales you can have all the what kind of model is they have bought what is the pricing and other things in the sales you'll have all the related ta tables data like customer related data transaction related data um, or product related data so that's why these semi-directive facts can be summed up through all the dimension tables in a fact table then we have the type of dimension table so you can say that there are multiple dimension tables and so you can say that different types of multiple dimension tables one of them is the confirmed dimension table so what is the confirmed dimension so this is used for the multiple location and it helps creating consistency so that the same can be maintained across the fact tables what is the example good example for this the product data for geography and customer i'll give you like suppose you have a laptop and you are buying hp or lenovo laptop okay so that particular laptop if you go to the different places still it will be the same like you'll go to the us you'll go to the india or any other country you want to buy the laptop that name and other things will be the same it doesn't matter based on the geography it won't change so that kind of things like which from multiple location which cannot be changed those are called confirmed dimensions then we have the degenerated dimension what is the degenerated dimensions a degenerated dimension is when a dimension attribute is stored as a part of fact table and not in a separate table like invoice number so you know that invoice number it doesn't have anything related to it based on the invoice number but based on the invoice number you can find the other related data like when that sale was happen which date what are the amounts so this is the like invoice number you will not store in a different table but you will store as a part of your sales data so that is the degenerated type of dimension then we have the junk dimension a junk dimension is that when a single table with a combination of different and unrelated attributes to avoid having a large number of foreign keys in the fact table those are when we combine all the things that dimension we can call it as a junk dimension then we have the role playing dimensions it is a table that has multiple valid relationship with the fact tables suppose we have a date column so date can be a date of birth date can be a sales of your particular product so these kind of date they plays the role based on how you want to invoke them a date can play a like like sales date so it it will it will become the sales data but when date of birth this comes so it becomes the customer related data so this is how they play the role play and that's why they called as a role play dimensions so in this uh, video i try to cover what are the effect what are the dimension and different types of it uh, if you have any questions related to them uh, you can definitely ask me in the comment section and i'll try to provide all the details in the upcoming videos i'll try to provide the schemas stars star flake and the snowflake schema how they what are the architectures and what are the things associated with those schemas i hope you enjoy the video let me know what you think about it thank you so much